Hi there, Lisa here from Surfmaster. Hope you guys are having a great day. I am. Oh, you see my, my cute dog is standing in the background. She's got her jacket on. <laughs> She's very skinny. Um, I just came from uh, working out and walking my dogs. It's a good day so far. Um, just want to continue on about some volleying, which is the most important skill in doubles. And remember, I really want to hear from you about what it is that you need, what, what your biggest question is about the volley, because I could be talking on and on and it's not addressing anything that you need. So I want to get specific and be able to help you out individually. Um, I think a big thing to keep in mind with the volley is you're always having your tennis pros and your, all the instructions saying, well, you have to hold this grip because you have to hold the continental grip and hit a volley and blah, 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 blah. And, and, you know, you kind of do, but you can kind of, get away with some stuff as well. Just being realistic that most of you are probably never going to hold the correct full volley grip in your entire tennis lifetime. It's just a fact. It's difficult. Nobody ever said it's easy. And so I'm just going to encourage you to, those of you who want to, to go ahead and start addressing that. And from the outlook that your number one consideration whenever you walk onto a tennis court is that you want to make your opponent uncomfortable. Bottom line. Every time you go out there, that would, should be the number one thing in your head. I need to make this guy uncomfortable or this woman uncomfortable. And the way you're going to do that with volleying is A, getting in and putting some pressure on them. But B, this whole grip thing, it makes the ball stay lower. So if you hit a, an average speed and you hit an average amount of underspin on the ball, the ball skids, stays lower, and that limits the number of shots that your opponent can attempt to hit back to you that will be successful. They can try and do anything. <laughs> we don't, I don't care if somebody tries something. If I know it's unlikely that they're going to be able to make it, I'm going to let them try that as much as they want. But we want to give them things that are difficult. So if you're playing at a level right now where you can bop that ball back and you can put it in a place and it's working for you, you don't need to be listening to me right now. You just turn this off and move on to something else that, that will be more appropriate for you. But if you are finding that you need a little bit more help on that, on that area, uh, where you're getting attacked when you're at the net, you're not able to hit a mid-court volley, the ball that you've been hitting, the volley that you've been hitting is now going over your head as a return or it's going just out of reach because it's just not staying low enough or it's just not difficult enough for your the opponent that you're playing. Well, then it's time to make an accommodation. Okay? So hopefully what you'll learn over time here is that your volley is a redirection and a deflection of the ball. And the, the first thing you do with your volley is you get your racket face set before the ball gets there, way before it gets there. Okay, so as soon as you recognize, is it coming to my forehand, is it coming to my backhand, you set your racket face. And the racket face is set at an angle because of a grip that you're holding. So those are primary thoughts with the big thought in mind is, I oh, need to make this person uncomfortable. I need to give them balls to hit, but balls that they are not going to be successful with. Okay, is so I'm going to give you some mainstream information, just like 60 seconds of mainstream information about the grip and the volley, just a little, little bit, and let you think about it and see, if, do you want to take that next step? Remember, you also don't have to go f over to a full continental if you just sneak your grip over a little bit away from the forehand. It's going to start setting the racket face uh, at the correct angle, at a better angle. And you'll start to feel what we're talking about, both about controlling the ball and being able to um, make it spin because that's what it's all about. We need to take control of that ball with our volley. That leads us to our first concept and that is why the grip has to be where all the tennis pros say it needs to go. It's called the continental grip. It's the same grip that you use for your serve or should be for your backhand for any underspin uh, shot which is a slice ball so that only leaves the forehand ground stroke that has its own singular grip. That's a totally separate area. The volley has the same grip as all the other strokes.
The grip that most commonly people hold is the forehand grip. And so what that does is it sets the strings forward, right? And so that gives you a high success rate. So initially, yeah, we sometimes we let you get away with that because we want you to like the sport and we want you to have success and, and want to keep, keep trying. So we let you go with this grip. Notice that the tip is high, my racket head is above my hand and wrist, and I'm all lined up here in front of my shoulder. It looks like this from the front. So if you see anyone standing like this, they're not going to be a very good volleyer. And then we see this. So the correct grip is called your continental grip, and this is where it is. If you look at the racket handle, again, I'm going to describe it just like we do with a serve. Thin beam of the racket to this flat surface, bevel on the left, bevel on the right. There's a V here on the bevel on the left, and that's where we put the V in our hand. Okay? If you like to use a knuckle, you're going to put your knuckle over on this right bevel. Okay? So that kind of, it can kind of feel a little bit weird because I'm no longer like this. This is, this is what the other grip looks like. What this grip is going to do is it's going to set the racket face at an angle. So instead of seeing this across the net from you, right, all of a sudden, if I just move my grip, look what happens. Now the racket face is at an angle. The edge, bottom edge, front edge is coming slightly forward. And now my racket tip is slightly off to the right. It's no longer straight up and down. I have not moved my hand. All I've moved is my grip on the racket.